Good morning. Today we're talking about your pee. So a lot of people are writing me uh, emails and they're asking, I have red pee, what does that mean? I have yellow pee, what does that mean? Well, seven things that your pee can mean about you. Okay, so what does it mean when your pee is red? When your pee is red, it could be as simple as if you have just eaten some beets or rhubarb, anything that might tinge your uh, pee red. But remember, that should be within 24 hours, it should be gone. If it's not gone, you might want to consider and see if maybe you need to go see the doctor to see if possibly you might have some kidney stones. Okay, kind of important. Okay, the second color that you might look at is orange. So orange pea could signify something like you ate a lot of carrots. Vegetarians, usually their skin turns kind of yellow or red, uh, orangish. So it could be that that is being excreted in your urine. Now, you might be taking medications like uh, something for a UTI or a blood thinner. And that will also give you a chronic orange pee. All right, here we go, moving on. All right, neon yellow pee. What does that mean? It's very expensive, that's what it means. B vitamins, the B complex vitamins, if you're overdosing, even though that they're water soluble, you're gonna see them in your urine. So that's very expensive urine. Try not to worry about that but cut down on your B vitamins because you might be wasting your money. Okay, green pea, what does that mean? Maybe you ate something like asparagus and not only will you have green pea there, but you're also gonna have smelly pea, woo! Okay, but this is the thing. If it's due to a vegetable, then you will see it gone in 24 hours. If it lasts longer, it could be a UTI or possibly kidney stones. So if you're also um, having uh, accompanied by some pain in your lower back, that could be a problem. Okay, blue pea, have you ever seen blue pea? I don't think I've ever seen it because it's very rare, but that could signify a genetic predisposition or a genetic, um, um, Oh, gosh, what can I say? A, a genetic disorder, that means you have too much calcium. So it's called hypercalcemia. Ooh, interesting, isn't it? Okay, brown pea. Brown pea could be caused due to the food you're eating. Possible, again, we said rhubarb, which is like a red, brownish color vegetable, or fava beans. I had no idea until I started doing research on fava beans. Now, something more serious could be that maybe you have breaking down of red blood cells. So some active bleeding, like a tumor. If, that's, if it continues to go on, then you better go check with your doctor to see what the deal is, okay? But it's very rare. All right, and what about if your pee is not clear and it's white? Ooh, this is disgusting. You might be peeing out pus. Yikes, because of an infection. So you gotta take care of that right away or else it will affect your kidneys. Anyways, foamy uh, pee that's clear, it could be nothing. So don't worry about that. All right, so the color of pee ranges anywhere from very clear yellow to concentrated, depending on your dehydration. All right, there you have it, all in a nutshell. Talk to you soon.